YouTube. Listen, I'm just jump right into this video. I did a fade. I don't know whether it's a comb over or a crop top or I don't know. I don't know what to call this. Okay, I just know that I did a mid fade. He didn't want too much off the top, but I'm kind of confused on whether if it's a comb over or a crop top. In the comment section below, tell me what it is, okay? Fine, that cool? You guys decide, hmm? I won't even title this video. You might, you know what? I'm gonna title it Haircut Tutorial and the best comment win, okay? The best comment I'm gonna pick and then I'm gonna put it as the title. You guys know the deal. But I'm just gonna get out of here, huh? I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna go home because I'm done today. I'm done. It's over. My day is done. Once again, another heavy package. Another, another heavy package here today. All right, I was about to leave up until my uncle called me and said, "Hey, you got a package that you need to that I had to sign for." And I was like, "Hey, let me turn around." So let's get into it right now. Let's open this up. All right, that should do it. That should do it. That should do it. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. A brush from. Ooh, this is a big. Let's let's do this first because the other one I know I know the other one is ooh this is clean this is dope an engraved Torino Pro brush what B Dot Clark Customs link will be in the description here's a T-shirt hold on before I get to the real the real deal I got a T-shirt B Dot Clark Customs Jeezy on the back all right without further ado without further ado let's get into uh, I'm trying to look for the blade okay without further ado let's get to these and it's cordless masters you already know it's custom when it comes to beat our clock customs you already know it's custom Ooh, I was about to throw this and all right hold on Woo. this is the base of it I was about to throw this I was about, man I don't, I don't know what I was thinking let's open it up together mm. Mm. Mm, Y'all already know what these is. These is probably, these remind me of the cement fours. Come on. The cement four B. Dot Clark Customs 360 GZ Jordan Clippers, man. Look at this design right here. This is dope. Ah, man. That's clean. B. Clark Customs did it again. Thank you. Link will be in the description. I'm out. I'm out this time. you guys what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna section off the hair I'm gonna kind of damp the hair with water and just you know get everything to lay in place so the reason why you will want everything to be laid and neat is because you want that hair to run into the teeth of the blade if the hair is flying all over the place it's gonna cause the hair to be uneven when you cut it Plus, it's just gonna look sloppy. The more control you have over the hair, the better the outcome of your haircut. So with my one guard open, I'm gonna start debulking. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, because I need to set in my guidelines and by setting in the bald line with this amount of hair on top, um, it just will mess up my clipper and cause everything to snag. So right now, I'm just going in that shape of a drop fade by holding the hair down with my comb, using that in a way that it allow me to keep my shape.
next I'm gonna use my liners to set in my bald line and I'm making sure that I keep it low as possible that way I can have a great transition in my blend My Babless Gold Trimmers, I'm going to make the bottom half razor bald. I'm not going all the way up to that line because I still want to leave a little bit of a transition. Plus, you don't want to go up to that line because it's going to be really hard to take out that bottom line if you do. My lever open I'm going up about a half inch and I'm gonna keep that same consistency all the way through making sure I go over the guideline multiple times adjust the lever halfway being that I put the lever in the middle and I'm going up um, just kind of half of that uh, what I set the guideline in and I'm just basically softening up that bottom line now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion flick out that bottom line. Now keep in mind if you do have to adjust your lever, adjust as you go up. Now back with the one guard with the lever open, using it to put in the guideline. I'm going up the same thing, same with uh, going up about a half inch, making sure I use my comb to stop that hair from moving. And I'm making sure that I'm gonna keep it uh, the same width all the way around. So right now I'm doing clipper over comb, but I'm going to do it a little differently this time. I'm going to run my clipper up that way I don't take off too much bulk. I want to leave some bulk at the top. I just want to be able to blend the bottom half into the top half. So I'm putting my clipper in at a 45 degree angle and I'm basically just running that clipper up so that the bottom half could flow into the top.
usually when you do clipper of a comb, you may not need the two. But in this case, man, I'm taking baby steps and I want this to be right. I want everything to flow together nicely. So I'm using my two guard clothes and I'm just kind of making sure that everything blends into that bulk. Again, taking baby steps with the one guard open, making sure I clean up that area between the one and the two. So closing the lever on the one guard, what I'm doing right now is flicking out that middle line. Now keep in mind, this is not gonna take out the line. This is just softening it up so you could come behind it with the next guard. Now with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. So after you're done setting in your guidelines, this is what separates you from your average barber. And what you wanna do is take a look somewhere else or refer to your mirror. But I suggest that you give your eyes a rest just for a second, it doesn't have to be long at all. And go in and do some detail work. Uh, use your corners, use different guards, whatever you have to do to get in those areas to debulk. Next, I'm gonna saturate my client's hair with water to do some sheer work. So right now, I'm just gonna give my client a trim, not gonna take off too much. I'm gonna start in the front, um, use that front piece that I cut as a guideline. Then I'm gonna take a little piece from the back, cut some more off of that. Then I'm gonna travel that all the way back, taking little bits and pieces from the front, working my way backwards. So to make that part a little straighter, I decided to bring a little bit more down and now I'm just clipper over combing the rest on the sides. After that, I'm gonna blow dry and style using my styling comb to curl the hair and just blow the blow dryer into the styling comb. You don't wanna uh, get the blow dryer too close to the scalp. Um, that's gonna really 
actually burn your client. So you actually don't want to do that. Want to keep the way, keep away from the scalp as much as possible. So I'm gonna put in my styling powder. Uh, this one, this brand is called Rock On. You can get this at Sally's. It really adds volume to your client's hair, really stiffens it up, uh, making it kind of hard to um, move your hands through, but it really keeps that hair in place. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they come in my chair, I spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like bang. You too. This is the cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production is on the beat. Make sure I'll give them a follow, man. Hit the link in the description below. If you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, my Snapchat is Jeezy360 and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. But it's your boy 360Jeezy and I'm out of here. Chip.